Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Santiago, an emerging artist living in Melbourne and today we are here in my studio because I'm gonna take you on a trip to the Latin American wildness which I represent through my most recent series of artworks so let's go for it but first of all stay till the end because I'm gonna make some announcements. For this series of drawings, I wanted to use color pencils and the hatching technique. This is one of my favorite techniques when it comes to color pencils. I use it for creating textures, depth and mixing colors. Usually I apply several layers of different colors so I can create more effects and also complex hues and intriguing lookings. This process is highly time consuming, but when you get to see the result, it really pays off. Before I started using the hatching technique, I had another coloring technique, which implies the use of markers in like the base layer. Then using watercolor pencils, I used to mix it with some water and on top of it, more color pencils and also marking pens for the details. But now I'm more used to use this hatching technique and you just require normal color pencils and a lot of time, by the way, but uh, you don't require more materials for that. So it all started because I wanted to represent Latin American fauna not as the real animals but as archetypes. Something closer to what you can find in early animal representation made it by pre-Hispanic artists. So I wanted this archetype to fit in this like square-like shape showing simplified features such as claws, feathers, tails. This series includes eight animals. All of them are from different environments and places but all are from Latin America. So, you know, I've always had this conflict between accuracy and conceptualization. So while sketching for this project, I went for keeping some of the details of the animals and incorporating it into the line art. And now it comes the hatching technique. When applying color, I overlapped several layers in different directions. So it helped the color to be mixed and creating more complex harmonies. Color palettes are always key in my work. So in this opportunity, I got the chance to create more variations that could resemble the appearance of the real animal or its environment. For example, the condor has black feathers, but condors are scavengers. So I wanted to give this feeling of decaying flesh and I went for using some rotten colors. I did the same with the anaconda which has like a very complex pattern on its skin but underneath there is like a greenish and reddish tones and I wanted to use this for the anaconda. The artwork that deeply represents this use of color is the honeybird. Usually honeybirds have some iridescent feathers, but I wanted to expand this look for the rest of the body, transforming the animal into a mythical creature somehow fairy-like. The whale was challenging. I wanted to give the sense of this massive animal, but at the same time, I wanted to suggest its aquatic environment. So I use a bit of eraser for making these shiny parts and suggest like wet skin. The position of the body was also a key point while creating pieces like the crocodile, the Indian bear and the armadillo. I wanted these animals to do their spot in a way that could resemble its natural behavior. For example, the crocodile as a fast and versatile predator, the bear as a peaceful and steady animal and the armadillo hiding inside its own shell. And last but not least, the puma. So I went for emulating the texture of its fur with mixed layers of blue, orange and violet. So when combined, you can get this nice 
brown, light brown color. So there you have it. Those are the eight animals I depicted very recently. Now I'm looking for a place where I can exhibit this series, so I'll keep you posted. Now the announcement. Recently I had a trip to Korea and I visited many interesting places. Of course it's related to art and like cultural heritage, so I'm gonna show you many things in future videos. If you want to see that, subscribe and turn on the notifications. And if you like this content, please give it a like and share in the comments what kind of animals would you like me to portray in this style for me that's all thank you for staying till the end and see you in the next one now we have a plane so that there was there was a baby crying then the traffic also the neighbors upstairs and now we have a plane what's gonna be next the next door dog barking someone singing on the streets i don't know what could be next could be anything